Your TikTok apartment tour was iconic. We do have a little uh, small mouse problem. They, um, at night while we're sleeping, come out and clean up the crumbs that my son drops on the floor. I feel like a lot of people outed themselves for having never been to New York when the outrage about the mouse happened, because it's like, um, uh, everybody has mice here. You're like, I'm living the it's New York dream. It's when you dream. have rats yeah. that you need to oh, re regulate. Oh, distinction. Very absolutely, important distinction. Absolutely, absolutely. Every building in New York has mice. Like, when I was little, I used to have so much fun catching them and yeah. releasing them. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm not, now you're taking it too far. Yeah, <laughs> but now it's like, I'm tired. You know, do I want to go catch a mouse? after a 16 hour day. No. no, I'm just gonna think, convince myself that the mouse is a pet. That apartment tour, the just can't look away fashions, the very famous ex. Julia Fox is super unapologetic and we hear her take on all the things in her podcast Forbidden Fruits with co-host Nikki Takesh. Season two premieres today on Spotify. I think it was in the first episode, Julia, you said that being stoned kind of helps with parenting a little. It does. I, like, I yeah. hear a lot of parents say that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wine used to be the Wine. vice, not anymore. I was gonna say, but like, you know, millennial moms yeah. are kind of, we're, we move, we're moving away from alcohol. Okay, so I'm gonna run through some hot topics. I'm, I wanna know if you guys are gonna cover on the pot or not. Celebs on weight loss injections. Oh no, we actually haven't talked about it, but yeah. all these people are coming for me, saying what? that I take the weight loss things. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, and I've never. Are we gonna be talking about Julia's date with Drake? No. <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna talk about your friendship with Madonna? Yeah, I know, she's my dream guest. Is she? Yeah. yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're, we're manifesting Madonna yeah. on the pod. You've had yeah, Billy McFarlane. I mean, past guests includes, include Anna Delvey. What is the prerequisite to be a guest on Forbidden Fruits? You have to be a forbidden fruit. <laughs> is that what that means? Kind, kind of. of. Yeah. We just have to be obsessed with you in some way. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily have to be that like- You're, you're dark or Yeah, something. or that you've been canceled or that oh. you're a bad We person. would love that, you know? <laughs> What has been the hardest part for you, Julia, of adjusting to this, like, fame? I mean, my interpersonal life, like, my interpersonal relationships, my, my personal life is the same. Mm. So, like, I don't ever, like, I forget that I'm famous. It's not something that, like, it. I, I can't explain it, but I'm literally still doing the same things, same people, same places, same everything. So I'm kind of, I guess, living in a bubble and mm -hmm. disassociated from everything. But also you have friends like Nikki and also your son Valentino, I'm sure to help keep you grounded. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've, I'm super blessed mm. with the people in my life. I love it. Yeah. Nikki's like, yeah, I keep her in check. Yeah. <laughs> I love she it. does. Nikki tells the truth. <laughs> She's honest. So if Julia were to date again, mm -hmm. which I'm sure is going to happen, what type of man would you want for her or person? Somebody rich? <laughs> Somebody We're sane. not gonna apologize for our sugar no. baby tendencies. No, I'm smiling. Okay, right yeah. we wanna be taken somebody, care of. Uh -huh. Life is hard. Is. Yeah, well just, you know, somebody that has a job and, you know. Is secure. Yes, because, you know, she has a child yep. and good Preferably taste. really busy so I don't have to see them that That's often. That's the next thing I was gonna say. Travels a lot. Not home all the time. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she crossed off all that. I mean, that's the checklist right there. Mm -hmm. Julia, obviously you are a style muse, okay? Mm -hmm. I brought some of your more iconic looks and I want both of your reactions to okay. it, okay? okay? So, the body bag. Oh my God. The body bag. <laughs> Thoughts, <laughs> questions, concerns. That's me um, in the beginning trying to get Nikki to do the podcast. Really? Um, yeah, that's me and Nikki. Just that's dragging her? And Nikki. Yeah, like, come on. <laughs> You'd be good at this. Nikki, is this you? It's yeah. actually me. Yeah, I think people it thought is. it was Kim, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, this is iconic also because you're w walking in the show with the horns. Yeah. I mean, did. didn't you want to keep this? I did. It I feels very it. you. Yeah. It's perfect. I love it. Oh, Valentino at the Milan Fashion Week. I, mean, I was come just on. looking at this last night. I know. He is was such a good boy. How did you decide what to wear for this show? Um, I mean, it was pretty easy yeah. because if you went, I don't know if you ever go into like a diesel store, but it's like everything is amazing. That's and it's, true. Yeah, true. it's like a kid in a candy store mm -hmm. for me. The horsetail? Oh, yeah. What, what is it giving? Um, what's it giving? <laughs> and finally, come on. New York Fashion Week poodle. Oh, I love the poodle dress. I also love the poodle dress. Yeah, I, I feel like it's sick. very you. It is very me. It's not very Julia, but that's why I like that she wore it. Uh -huh. I like seeing her in her colors. Yeah. yeah. And she feels Out of the darkness. Mm -hmm. The pink? Is the pink not you? I don't really. Have you seen her in pink? That's yeah, true. and I've never really. 
Okay. Yeah. Look at you stepping outside of the box. I know. I'm, I'm working on my relationship with pink, but I love pink. Like, I love when my friends wear pink. If yeah. I'm dressing my friends, I always put she them does. in pink. You, like, you look great it's in pink. I'm always in pink. I feel uncomfortable in it for some reason. Really? I don't know. I have to, I have to like, look into that, okay. what it is with me and my femininity we'll that I'm... Yeah, There's yeah, yeah. A, something. We got connect. We'll get into mm -hmm. it. This season, Julia and Nikki are on camera for the podcast, and they gave me a studio tour. Of course, we had to start in wardrobe. Oh. We love feathers. We love colors. We have to point out this, like, Cher Horowitz moment. I know. Come on. Yeah. As I if. Know. I'm obsessed with these red hair. Oh, it goes this around. This red hair that. choker is amazing. Should I try it? Yeah, you yeah, should. I feel like it. it'll go in my outfit. We played dress up and then Julia even gave me her famous fox eye. I want to know what's the secret to your signature fox eyeliner look. I mean, the secret is to just go big. Okay. If you think it's too much, go even more. You well, know? Let's go big, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to just start here. And like, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always go in and fix it and make it sharp and whatnot. And you do this every day? Not every day, yeah. but. Liquid eyeliner is yeah. the way to go with this look. For this type of graphic okay. eye, but then, you know, sometimes if you want a more smudgy look, something a little less defined, I would go but with But we want pencil. defined, right? We do, we want definition. So let me ask you, Julia, what do your pillowcases look like? Oh, yeah. let's just say I can't have guests. Right. We missed you at the Vanity Fair party this year. I know, I know. What's it like kind of rubbing elbows with all those people? You know what it feels like, honestly? What? You know that scene in the Titanic where Leonardo DiCaprio like um, goes to dinner one. with all the rich people and he's like, Yes. Now I'm here with you fine folks. And he's like, literally just, he's leaning in, but he's like, I do not belong here kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels it. like that. So funny. Yeah, I just recently rewatched that movie and I was like, oh my You're goodness. You're like, that's me at the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Yeah. Okay, so I did it, I did them different. You I did, did this one more like thinner and longer and this one shorter and For a reason? No, it just came out that way and I apologize. Ready for the real? You she apologized <laughs> in advance. What do you guys think? I think I look pretty fierce. Wait, before we go. I wanted to ask you about your bleached eyebrows, which you don't have now. I don't have them. You said I'm growing it? them out right now. Oh. Yeah, because I have I have movies to act That's in, true. and I have to cosplay as a normie. <laughs> so I need I eyebrows. Yeah, I need my eyebrows you back. You said the bleached brows were man oh, repellent. They are. Does that mean you might be ready for a man? <laughs> <laughs> now that they're going a back. A girl could only dream. She's like, no, I got a career first. <laughs> it's true, and, and a baby, a full toddler. And that too, that exactly. It's a huge Well, commitment. I feel like you're a child now that I have this makeover. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, E.T.